Hello everybody on Facebook and Instagram and internet land, family and friends. Once again, we are doing what we do every day of the week, seven days a week sometimes if we have to. Building another roof here in Colorado Springs. Unprecedented damage from the uh, August 6th hellstorm. So we're here at a client of ours getting the roof built. Um, I think we're putting on this one uh, a gaff shingle. Let's go up a little closer and take a look at it and see what's going on. We'll look at the uh, shingle itself as well. You can see here our sign 303-422-4242. If you found this sign, you know that's the sign of quality. Rocky Mountain Restoration, RockyMTNRestore.com. That's the sign of quality right there. Synthetic felt is going on this house. Not required by code, but uh, it's just the way we like to do our job. So, looks like on this one, we're putting gaff. Timberline Armor Shield 2. If I'm not mistaken, this is a class four shingle. Benefits of a class four shingle is that it, uh, it's more hell resistant. It'll reduce your, uh, more hell resistant and it's gonna reduce your insurance premium anywhere from 10 to 30% depending on who you have on the job. As always, you can see we're, we're making controlled messes here. Got the, uh, the dump trailer. See if we can back up a little bit and get some perspective here. Um, another day in the life here. Another day in the life. I'm liking our crew boss's uh, F-350 Power Stroke, 6.2 liter. Nice truck, beautiful truck. As you can see up there, we've got Feltex, synthetic felt. That stuff's expensive, it's high quality, it's grippy, it doesn't leak. It's more expensive than your regular felt that the insurance is gonna pay to put on your house. And uh, this is a pretty nice house. It's um, all stucco. Um, we're putting, the, like I said, the class four shingle on. Got the crew up here. They've been up here since about uh, I don't know, maybe 7 to 7.30 a.m. See if we can walk into the back here, take a look at what's going on without anything dropping on our head here. <clears throat> Looks like they've already got the uh, roof torn off and they're, they've dried it in. They're putting the shingles on it. Beautiful area of the country here, up on Cheyenne Mountain. As you can see what we're doing here, the guys have got everything tarped off around the, the bottom. That's just to capture any sort of trash or debris, debris that falls on. As you can see here, there's a lot of uh, granules and debris that have fallen on the ground. So when you put this, when you put this tarp here, you're not going to catch all of it, but it's just an attempt to keep the job site a little cleaner. Um, you can see here what the hell did to uh, my client's windows. Four inch hellstones. And uh, four inch hellstones blew out all these windows where you see the green tape. And uh, pretty ugly down here. Um, Ugly scene down here, so, but you know, 
We're getting everything restored as quickly as possible. And uh, we did help her estimate on this claim to get her more money. As you see here on her stucco, if you want to get this job estimated the correct way, all of this stucco has to be redashed and repainted. This is all this is all hell damage here that you're looking at. Um, got another guy I was talking to, the neighbor behind us. I think his name is Greg. Um, told him, "Let's do your roof." He's still dragging his feet on it. Hopefully, he'll come around and see the light before too long. A lot of homeowners, when they're doing these jobs, they, they want to negotiate, or uh, I should say estimate, would be the right word, with the insurance company and try to reconcile or rectify their estimate themselves and try to do everything themselves because they think that they're, they either are smart people in their own business and they think, hey, I can be a roofer today. But uh, there's a lot of specialized knowledge and, and uh, there's a lot of specialized knowledge and systems and disciplines that go into roofing. And there's a lot of knowledge you need to know if you're going to deal with your insurance company. It's like I always tell people, if you get in an accident and, and somebody hits you in a car or a truck, are you gonna go and be your own lawyer and represent yourself in court? Uh, it's kind of the same concept with the uh, these insurance claims. People don't have the specialized knowledge. I'm an insurance claim specialist myself. I've been at this since 2011. And as much as I know, which is much more than your average homeowner, I still hire a team of experts because I'm smart enough to know what I don't know. So I do recommend hiring an expert. Experts will always get you a better outcome, better materials, a better rectified and reconciled estimate with the insurance company. Insurance companies, it is what it is. They pay about 60%, 60 cents on the dollar. Insurance companies never pay full amounts. And so you need an expert in order to estimate that correctly. And um, damage in this neighborhood has been uh, pretty crazy. I'm seeing some, some broken windows over here. And uh, everybody on the, uh, the block here is smoked. Everybody within a probably a 10 by 10 mile radius is at risk of being smoked or has been smoked, I should say. But uh, it's about what we're doing here. Another day in the life. I'm gonna sign off now. We'll go check out our other two builds. We got some Decker builds down the street. We'll go see what's going on there. All right, take it easy.